short, more counts to the left board. Um, we are missing Callie tonight. Um, and we'll start with um, general public comment. Not seeing any, I'm going to go ahead and come to uh, September 3rd. More counts to the left board. Um, we are missing Callie tonight. Um, and we'll start with um, general public comment. Not seeing any. I'm going to go ahead and move to old business and um, go ahead with the sidewalk project. Pat, you want to roll on up? Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, good oh. evening, everybody. Have a good evening. I know, John, you've been working with Pat a little bit and Jason as well. If you guys want to update the board on where things are at with, um, with your project, that would be good. Well, we uh, pretty much uh, we decided on uh, Hanlon, so um, we told Pat to put together the RFP, which he has done. We the wrong file. I say the wrong file initially, I apologize for that. <laughs> but, I didn't open the wrong one. But he did. So what was it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't leave that email. Oh, based on my work log. Okay. Which was <laughs> like the year. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so at any rate, so I guess that's where we're at. So I assembled this uh, request for proposals for uh, construction inspection services. Our president engineer is the first. And um, I don't know if how many of you have any time to review it, but um, you have the next to final version of it in the last hour or so. I made some mm -hmm. edits corrections that you might see in there. And uh, I do have the final version ready now, uh, ready to go, so. Um, I guess the question is whether the select board here wants me to go ahead and send this request for proposals on to Hamlin, Donald Hamlin Engineering Associates in the Essex Junction, get their scope report and proposal from them for doing the construction oversight for the sidewalk and drainage projects. So I, I skimmed through it. I, I, you know, I trust that uh, Pat put everything you know, down in order and so on. So. Yeah, I think that I'm comfortable mm -hmm. with this part of it. Um, just with you, you guys, and you went through, I know why I saw the checklist that you guys went mm -hmm. through. Uh, I wasn't here last meeting, but everyone's comfortable with, with Hamlin as that um, chosen contractor. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I've been out all day, so I haven't been meeting sure. Yep. Um, what was the outcome as far as your inquiry to um, emergency transportation regarding our questions about what we're allowed to do? Okay. Uh, what we can do, and John, you can chime in, chime in also. I did get a response from Chris Hunt, mm -hmm. who indicated that we could ask that they make sure that they have someone on site, a qualified person that's in their roster. And what I may suggest mm -hmm. is that in this RFP, if you've read the, towards like the back of it, it mentions that the town reserves the right to interview the selected consultant. And that is a question we could throw if you choose to interview him, inter interview them, um, we could throw that question out. And we could, we could stress the importance of having an experienced resident engineer construction inspector in the project and ask them of, for the name of the person they plan on putting on site. So I would suggest we do the interview. Because mm -hmm. that would be a good point blank and opportunity to yeah. throw okay. the question of who are you going to have on the site. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. That sounds like a good complying way to do that. So yes. Yeah. 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 Chris Hunt seemed to think that was, that was okay. The eight year thing, yes or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could not put the eight year requirement in the RFP. Well, this will work. Well, it's actually yeah. better because we're satisfied for some other reason. Right. This, this would 
would give you a good chance to mm -hmm. get a feel for the company by having someone or some people come in from the firm right. and meet them in person, talk to them, and uh, further, perhaps further ensuring your comfortability with them. Right. Well, I like it. Thank you for coming up with that. Okay. You're welcome. Now, do we get a final um, <clears throat> take on the going across from the fire station from Chris? The, as far as the easement? Yeah. Uh, Chris Hunt indicated to me that he was not going to take any pushback from District 5. Right. Okay. I mean, there's some issue about their maintaining the culvert, which seems kind of silly to me since they're going to own it. They seem to have some resistance to being required to maintain it, mm -hmm. which means if they want, don't want to maintain it, it seems to me like they're trying to throw that back on the town. Okay. So, I, uh, I have not seen the final easement yet. I'm assuming that's the, right. that's the reason we have it, because there's a little consternation on the part of District 5 about the, the maintenance. Okay. Issue. Okay. And uh, the <clears throat> state is also, um, or Doug is preparing a, a contract um, because uh, I did finally break down and say the tree has to go. That's the final version. Oh, Bill DeVos from Cyber, mm -hmm. uh, from Cyber. The tree works came out, mm -hmm. and um, we found Rod at the base of the tree. Mm -hmm. He didn't think that it would be an, an issue. He said that it's not that much. He doesn't know how deep it is. The bottom line, you know, just like we, we kind of all, all said, that, you know, sooner or later that tree's going to come down or have to come down. Right. And here's a way of doing it. So I, I double checked to make mm -hmm. sure that it, it's in the um, <clears throat> it'll be in the contract. It'll be in it'll the, be the contract documents. Yeah. yeah, and um, and so this uh, our share would be the the ten percent, mm -hmm. which would be about three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Bill seems to think it could cost about three thousand. Okay. Any word on the other tree, the one with GMP? Um, on the the one uh, that has to either be pruned or taken down for the power line, the red maple. Oh, 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 no, no, no. That, I haven't heard anything more than that either. No. 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 GMP or VTrans were supposed to come up with their offer to pay for it, mm -hmm. as I recall. <coughs> well, on, on, on the on the uh, hands tray? Yeah. Well, I don't, you said, didn't you, weren't you just check with Green Mountain Valley? I will check with Green Mountain Valley. Okay. Supposedly, the Haines received an email from Green Mountain Power saying that they would take care of it, but I guess we need to. This is a, a recent one or the old one? No, this was supposedly one that was like a year ago. Right, we've asked for the history yeah. and yeah. Yeah. we received it, which is a little. Which they're not. It was a little iffy. Yeah, a little vague. It was, it was a little vague. Yeah. Well, you did receive the email. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. If you could forward that to Pat. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see that email? I don't think I saw that. Oh, I looked at that. Yeah, I did. That'd be important if we had the yeah. email mm -hmm. from the right person mm -hmm. who said that. The email seems to seems to refer to a previous conversation that implies that they were paying for that selling to my friends. Right. So right. It's almost a third hand. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but from Green Mountain yeah. Power nonetheless, so it counts for something. So I'll take a look. See. Yeah, so I'll take a look at that. Yes. And those are those are like the last three issues to get the final uh, to to get the final contract documents put together and advertise the project for construction bids. So I will stay on top of this easement situation uh, because that still has to be recorded in the town records prior to prior to getting the job out to. Uh, out to bid. Now, Chris Hunt has sent out the request for the lease of the construction funds. That's the last thing he did before he went on his two-week vacation. That's right. So he uh, he did indicate he was he, he put out the request for the release of the construction money. So 
that should be in hand so that we could mm -hmm. put the job out there and pay the contractor to do the work. So do you give any ideas? When's he coming back from vacation? September 16th. So that would be a, a week from this coming Monday. So it's a Monday, he's back. I put in the RFP, by the way, for the construction inspection services that we were expecting the project to go out to bid October 15th. Mm -hmm. I just right. yeah. guessed based upon um, <clears throat> getting the construction funds in the easement situation straightened out and making sure that Doug gets that train and contract backwards. Mm -hmm. I agree. I've been working with you people since 2014. That's, that's nuts. Five years for a simple sidewalk project. Right? Five years. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but I know why. I think I know John, and I'm not sure if the rest of the board is, but um, we received a uh, grant. Cheryl Lynn got a grant for the other side of the, oh, really? of the road as well. Yeah. So we have. Another four hundred and sixteen, maybe four hundred sixteen thousand oh, really? dollars for another sidewalk project on the other side. Uh, so my hope is that with a lot of the legwork that's already been done, as far as the um, the flooding situations mm -hmm. and those things that took forever, um, and we also we don't have the um, catch basin issues to deal with. Um, so hopefully it's not, it doesn't take another five years to get that project off the ground, but uh, I know Cheryl's, Cheryl's going to a meeting fairly soon on that, isn't she? September, in the middle of September. Right, so we'll start that off and get that kicked off as well. So. Good. I'm assuming we'll have to start with the scoping study and all of that. Yeah, I yeah. think yeah. we'll have to just, again start back with yeah. step one on that. Right. But uh, again, we should have a lot of the documentation that they're going to come back and ask right. for. Yeah, it'll, did this project should generate a lot of what you needed, and uh, of course the drainage is a little already fixed. Right, Definitely. and we also learned a lot uh, throughout the project. I think mm -hmm. other ways we would do things better. Mm -hmm. um, sure. The next time. Yep. And this time. So. Uh, Yes, yeah, so something to look forward to there. Um, but the matter at hand is um, we need to approve as a board um, Pat sending out the RFP. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, with, um, at, the, at the Ready Consult Services. Um, I just have one more question. Sure. Uh, so what if after we hire a resident engineer or a contractor, what, is your role continuing here as the project manager for the town? Do we have a project manager and, and a resident engineer? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, certainly if you want me to stay on, I mean, it, it, it is in my scope of work, the original proposal I wrote five years ago, stated that I would Yeah, no, I see the work is vital for you yeah. to stay on because you know everything about this project. I yeah. think, you know, if we're getting to the construction phase, I think this is, you know, to take mm -hmm. you off now will right. put us back. Right. Because you don't know so many things about this project that you may have answers to right away where somebody else wouldn't. We get lost. So yeah. Yeah. Um, so the, the resident engineer would technically answer to me. Okay. So nobody here would have to. Right. You know, like, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'd, uh, they would answer to me. I would approve their pay. You know, their invoices for payment. All right. And uh, make sure that Good. they're submitting their certified payrolls and everything else they need to do mm -hmm. um, over the course of the construction phase. Excellent. John, can I make a motion? And so, are you going to include the mo in the motion the authorization for me to send it out? Yeah, that's, okay. what, uh, that's what the motion is. So I'll, I'll make a motion that uh, <clears throat> Pat uh, submit this and that um, he be retained as the 
um, project manager. Per his current contract? Right, that per his current contract. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, um, second. Any further discussion? All in favor, vote aye. 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 Okay, thank you. I will send it out tomorrow. Okay. I gave them uh, three weeks to come up with a proposal, so September mm -hmm. 25th, which would be three weeks from tomorrow. September 25th. September 25th is when the proposal will be due. We may see it before then. And I will have to reconvene the Resident Engineer Selection Committee to review the proposal, review the proposal, and study the cost proposal in particular, and see who they have indicated would, would be on the project, and then furthermore, again, as we previously discussed, we would have another meeting shortly thereafter mm -hmm. to actually interview mm -hmm. representatives from Hammer. So we can throw out the critical questions that mm -hmm. the committee has concerns. Okay. And that, that interview will be within the uh, whole board, right, or just the committee? Uh, just the committee, unless there are additional, if, if there are members of the select board interested, there's more than welcome to attend the committee mm -hmm. meeting. Are you, are you still recusing yourself? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And uh, Mike, just point out, going forward with the committee, uh, because it is a committee of the select board, it does need to follow the open meeting law. So we will need to post it somewhere when that happens. Yeah. yeah, just make sure you coordinate with Sasha so she can do that and she'll get it up on the, the three places that we need to have mm -hmm. that. All right. All right, anything else for Pat? Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, the correct and final version is that one I just distributed, mm -hmm. um, with the, uh, which is what we'll uh, handle and we'll receive tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Okay. Thanks. Are you guys all here for the trustees or public comments? I'm here for the trustee portion. All, everyone. All right. All right, sure. As well? All right, so if you just want to um, state your name and go right ahead with and you can sure. miss. Um, hi, my name is Leslie Polyvinsky. Um, I live up on the Hattie Hill Road, bought the Bill Mayer's old place. I'm happy with them. Um, we love living in Morton. And I have two very young children. Um, and I'm here tonight in support of moving the library um, temporarily. As I understand it, you're considering a decision between moving it to the top floor of the town hall or possibly above this building, right? In this space. In this space, okay. Um, I just wanted to share with you my enthusiasm for um, seeing the library. Um, I think that having the library as a, a magnet um, in our town would boost everyone's spirits. <laughs> um, I had a wonderful encounter. I think I met Mr. Hogan-Boom. No, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay.
from, you know, just being sort of so low in my day to having this really uplifting um, encounter that, you know, imbued our whole project. Um, and I feel like a library space that's inviting, that's bigger, airy, um, and a very pleasant place will draw a lot of our townspeople, um, a lot of the young families, a lot of the older folks, and it's those, you know, like chance encounters that fuel our lives. Um, not only our happiness as a community in our town, but just as individuals. Um, and so, you know, as I, I've, I've heard some talk about the different spaces that are considered, and, and I hope that um, keeping in mind, you know, the attractiveness of a space really can make or break it, and the more people that we draw into that place um, will just improve all of our lives, <laughs> I think. Um, and we have a really strong librarian, we have enthusiastic, dedicated um, board, on the, on the library trustees, and I think now is the time to really build on that. And um, our town is growing, I know the families are growing, and we all really love the library and want to continue um, meeting each other and, and enjoying a wonderful space. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks, Rosa. <coughs> John, what'd you build with your rocks? <laughs> still building, still retaining them all. I think you guys can do a community project together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyone uh, anyone else want to speak for your public Hi. Hi, Susan Work, I'm a neighbor of the library. Um, I agree with everything you said. I think we, libraries are evolving as more than just places to get a book. They're becoming more of a community hub. And I think Corey's been just wonderful with the broad range of things that she's offering in the community. And I think it's very limited where it is now because she just doesn't have the space. And I have, I have to speak to safety because I have a front and center view of people coming and going at the library. And there have been times when I hold my breath when a parent is coming out with a young child not holding their hand, turning around to maybe supervise another one, and the traffic is literally feet away. It is really dangerous, and it, 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 that safety aspect to me is, is huge. So if they were able to meet at the, the town hall or here and have safer parking, I think that would be tremendous. Also, having had a husband who was disabled, access accessibility is, is a big one to me, too. I think it's difficult for people to get out of the car, walk over the steps and in, and not having a bathroom is a huge deterrent. I was going to suggest that maybe in solidarity this left board use the port a lot out there all winter, <laughs> just to kind of, you know, <laughs> embrace the experience. But I, was, I really would love to see it in a more accommodating space. Thanks, Any other comments, Susan, or is that it? That's it. Thank you very much. Hey, question one thing, Susan, uh, certainly we, uh, you know, I understand that the facilities over there are rough, and I don't, you know, and thank you for putting up with them, Corey, certainly. Um, you know, um, but it's certainly not the select board that is saying, no, you can't um, do, you know, these type of things. So um, I want to make sure that, you know, you feel comfortable that if you have places that you want to use the facilities as well, make sure you're using them. Any other comments for public comments? Uh, my name is Kristen B. Hagen. Uh, I live up on uh, House Road. Uh, I have been a uh, volunteer uh, from the time that Polly Bentley uh, got the library going uh, through uh, a number of librarians. I think Corey's doing great job also and I will you know I'm also concerned about um, things that have already been mentioned the, uh, uh, the lack of parking 
Um, I had kind of a close encounter myself today. I pulled into Susan's driveway to wait while a patron, because only two cars can park, three at the most. Someone was leaving, two patrons were leaving, and I was waiting for them to leave so I could take my shift at the library. And uh, as it happened, the one patron was, I didn't even realize she was in her car. She was pulling out, and I was getting ready to pull out of Susan's because one of them had left already. And uh, I mean, it was just, I don't know how close we were, but uh, it was just one of those times that, you know, I'm surprised that more of those kinds of things happened. happened. Um, and the size is uh, constricting, the size of the library. Uh, but it has been going for, I don't know how many years now, since Polly, five or six years. Uh, this is not a passing thing. I mean, I think that we have a, um, people who are interested who use it. And uh, I think that you know, it would be wonderful to get established. I think it, it would um, do nicely for the, I think, the uh, books would warm up the town hall, uh, you know, the, the environment in the town hall. I don't think it would be in the way of even social gatherings. I think it would be nice, you know, if the family wanted to have a reunion there. Um, it would be great. It would, the walls would be lined with books. I mean, I think that would be wonderful. So um, I'm just speaking in favor of Sure. Even temporarily moving somewhere else. Any other comments on public comment? Um, my name is Chris Stevenson. Uh, so I live in Moortown. I certainly agree with all the comments that are made, and I think the thing that speaks to me the most is the the time that's gone by to make a decision and build in some improvements. Um, and the longer you let time pass. Um, the more opportunities you might miss. So I think there's some immediacy and urgency. Um, and while you might need more time to make a bigger picture decision, I think the temporary solution to make accommodations for the winter months, where safety is a further risk, where comfort is a further risk. Um, and I think that it's, it really requires the select board to step up and help kind of push this forward. So why don't we, I um, wanted to public comment before we get to the um, official library trustee time, just in case other people were coming from the, um, the, the, the public. But so why don't we go ahead and move into that? Um, Corey, do you want to speak, or who wants to? We have two more trustees who are supposed to be here. So okay. Mind. Uh, I don't mind waiting. That's there we go. Yeah. 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 We see you guys front row seats. I <laughs> But nobody wanted. <laughs> so, we, okay. yeah, but um, let me just interrupt just one second on that. Prior to that, we had just heard uh, ladies who came in, there was uh, some support from uh, Chris, Kristen, Susan, uh, and Lisa. Um, one gentleman. Right, Chris, right? Oh, I thought yeah. you said ladies. Oh, I addressed the ladies. Today, so. uh, but I also wanted to say you also had, uh, there was a letter from Lisa Mason, uh, uh, who couldn't attend to me, uh, tonight's meeting, but wanted a letter of support. And also Brian Moore and Emily Johnson as well. So I just wanted that on public. Um, so go ahead. So now let's go ahead and move in. Uh, we have the trustees here, if you guys want to. Uh, move up and everyone can kind of just move forward and more make it a conversation rather than uh, us presenting anything. <laughs> Mess up your camera. <laughs>
all moving up or just? Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. People used to hide in the back row yeah. of school. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, we know where they're at. Hey, there's plenty of room on this side. Yeah. yeah. So, so Emily and I were walking and we were saying, we don't really want to discuss that financial part. We need to get here. So we need you right up here. Yeah. 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 Y
who are quite small and will be unable to provide the necessary documentation. We understand that while the auditors from VLCT recommend that the town collects these documents from all vendors, it is not required for those who are being paid less than $600 per year by the town. While we understand the desire to mitigate risk to the town, we would like to request the Select Board adopt a policy that allows the paperwork to be waived for small and local presenters offering programs at the library. And there is an attachment as well that to support that. We believe this will allow the library to continue to offer a robust variety of programming that has been so welcomed and encouraged um, residents of Moortown to engage in a more vibrant community. We thank you for your time in reviewing these issues. We will have a few representatives from the library board at the <laughs> next select board meeting to further discuss the items in this letter. We look forward to working with you and to continue the great work our library is doing for our community. Sincerely, Moortown Memorial Library Trustees. And I will now make sure that that gets sent. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to add anything to that? Um, well, why don't we talk about the paperwork issue first? Sure. Um, so I have a great working relationship with Sherilyn and Sasha, and I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble. Um, but there's an interpretation um, of the uh, insurance requirements that um, Cheryl did not share with Sherilyn. Um, and so Cheryl waived this paperwork that was required, a business card and a contract and um, a certificate of insurance or, or another contract with the town. So that small artists, you know, somebody wanting to lead a, a tour in the woods or a foraging trip. Or even someone like here. me, as you know, I'm Mrs. Claus every year. And in the past, I've been, oh, don't tell anybody. Are there any kids here? Okay. Um, <laughs> The last few years I haven't charged for it, but it would include someone like me who just did that and was gonna get a little stipend to thank you for doing that. Right. So. so this is a copy of the correspondence back in 2016 that I had with Cheryl, where she said she sat down with an auditor and that they would waive this paperwork. Um, and then my back and forth with Cheryl Lynn about it, who is requiring the paperwork from every vendor. So I brought a copy. Sasha, do you know Cheryl wants to take on this? Mm -hmm. All right, so Sasha, did you say you, as assistant treasurer, you um, what you guys take on this? It doesn't matter how much the dollar amount is, and Sherilyn has confirmed it with the LCT that we need to have the W9 and the certificate of insurance or a non-work employee agreement. And that's different from, you say there's $600? Right. Sherilyn told me that it was required over 600 and recommended by the auditors under 600. I've talked to some other towns and some towns require it and some towns don't. Um, and so I appreciate that Sherilyn was trying to mitigate exposure for the town, um, but it seems like a very conservative approach mm -hmm. that is really, I think, going to impact how many programs we can offer. Mm -hmm. uh, I do know that as far as workers' compensation, the state relatively recently went through a review of that because they were making sole proprietors have workers come, which of course doesn't make any sense at all. Right. So they, they figured that out. So mm -hmm. that piece, I could refer you to the state for how uh, that's currently handled. Um, so that's only for the workers come. That's within the last three years. Yeah. And that's that's already years old. Well, a lot of these people aren't sole proprietors. You know, mm -hmm. Jamie doesn't do right. Make sure no kids came in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Because she's a sole proprietor of Mrs. Claus. It's, you know, a lot of people who are have expertise or skills that they're sharing with us, but don't necessarily have a business. Right. Oh, I understand want... the rest of the problem. I'm just okay. mentioning that that piece is coming. Gotcha. Thank you. 
Uh, I, I think that we need to, and I respect Cheryl Lynn's um, take on it, and I respect the trustees' take on it, but I think we should, why don't we have uh, Ron just take a quick look at this. Um, he's our town attorney, and let's get an opinion from Ron how we can get this taken care of. Uh, when I say opinion, let's try to find a solution to this Great. without having to have people run through hoops and pay dollars that we don't don't have. Um, yeah, it does, doesn't make sense. To right, so let's just try to fit. So let's, so. we'll send this to Ron uh, and ask him that question if we could in the morning okay. to, to look into this. You know, what, what the solution is not, we're not looking for a problem, we want to find what is the solution to how we can get this done well. Uh, and maybe it's another waiver we have to have someone sign or something, but it seems ridiculous that, that you know, in the instances where um, you know, people are volunteering or getting paid at a minimal stipend that we're requiring undue steps. And I understand Sherilyn does a wonderful job and she's protecting us as a community, but there's gotta be, you know, we just need to figure out the solution. So I think that is doable. And I'm certainly not looking to undermine uh, No, 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 we understand that, and I don't think anyone does. I mean, we're, yeah. we're all here just to try to find the best solution to a seemingly easy problem, but, you know, we're talking government here. Right. So, <laughs> it may not be so easy. Uh, I, I think we're looking for a proposal that we can put in front of Cheryl and have her say, okay, this looks all right. Right. So, exactly. That's the solution. Mm -hmm. What we're looking for, that everyone is happy as our treasurer who is looking more at our responsibilities mm -hmm. and us is trying to provide um, services and such for, for everyone else. Um, as far as moving temporarily, I think that's probably a good idea. Um, what building? I'm not sure. Yeah, I was, I, when the <laughs> remarks came up about a year, this space of this. Well, that is my good building. That. Um, <laughs> so. Can we get some more detail on that? Like how many square feet are required for what you want to move so we can. Yeah, no, I think what works. we need to do, we, we just can't say, yeah, we're going to move to the library and go over there tonight. We need to figure out what, what your plan is and kind of an idea where we can all work together to to try to make it work. I mean, first, I, I think as a town, we need to, mm -hmm. as they said, give these people somewhere where they can work that have a toilet, has a sink, uh, bare minimum. Um, you know, and, and there's a lot of concern as, you know, we all know the change or, or things moving too quickly are happening. So there's a lot of things that we need to try to respect them on each side of this mm -hmm. to make it work successfully. Um, so I think we need to, to get a, a few more people just involved with the process. We're going to move this forward temporarily, but we want to get some more input on what you're doing, how to best do it, um, and then uh, get some input from the people who do things here. We do elections over there, um, any other events that might be coming up. So we can say, all right, how are we going to accommodate these events coming up? We have this plan, whether it's the, and I don't know what is planned there or what's not planned there, or what may be coming up that people haven't planned yet. But I think, um, I think that we should try to make it work. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we need some information to try to make it work. Um, not only square footage, but hours, and, mm -hmm. and see what we can squeeze in where. Um, and I think without looking at what you need, I can't say anything further, but I'd like to know what you need. All right, and that's what we've. Great deal of activity. Mm -hmm. Well, so as we proposed in the letter, we would move the entire collection of books. Right. That's about 6,000 books, but and, and, you know, anecdotally and data-wise, people 85, 90% of the time are looking at the new books mm -hmm. or the children's books. Um, the new book, take up probably six or seven feet tall by four feet wide um, and then the children's books are a little more extensive we could probably not bring them all but bring in enough of a healthy selection so would you bring it um, what would you have for bookcases so the children's uh, room has removable the the picture bookshelves that we had built a year and a half ago we have them built in such a way that they could be used in other spaces um, so those hold quite a bit, I think. 
Also, I'll just give you a wrong number without looking it up, but mm -hmm. in the hundreds of picture books fit in that. Um, there is one bookshelf out in the hallway that we put free books on that could be used. There are some bookshelves upstairs. I'm not sure if they belong to the historical society or to the building, uh, but they are lower, so they would, you know, say fit under these windows. Uh, there's probably three mm -hmm. or four of those up there. So. And what sort of hours are you looking for? I would really anticipate we would keep the same hours we have. Part of suggesting this space uh, was the understanding that the office side can be locked so that it doesn't mm -hmm. have to all be open with you know town office employees here at the same time necessarily. And it was just mm -hmm. another option sure, of right. trying to make accommodations for the winter for our patrons and volunteers and staff. Yes. So, so do, you, do you think this, this space is large enough for your winter needs? I think it could be. It could be. But you don't think the downstairs of the town hall is large enough? I think it floods. Yeah. I mean, it I, it I brought tables. Flood. It does not flood. We have pictures. We've had we've had we've had a very small amount of water down there recently. Okay, I but returned nothing the, like before. I returned the tables right after the fourth uh, the moon landing party, mm -hmm. and there was standing water on the floors in the kitchen closet, in the maintenance closet, what was that? under the counter what was where the garbage cans are. Twenty first. I know you see. I got pictures. I thought. This year? Was the 21st? Yeah, this summer. Oh, summer. There was a huge storm, rainstorm that mm -hmm. night. That we partied yeah. to the moon and back in. <laughs> <laughs> Did you report that? Uh, yes, I think Chris sent an email yeah. to okay. guys. Because, With I mean, pictures. I mean, according to Katrina, it wasn't. It, I think wasn't she chimed in on that email thread also. Actually, my understanding was a very small amount of water. It was enough that you wouldn't want to put books in there or okay. have someone sitting down there for six hours at a time. Insurance of covering books from water damage is not something you want to pass. Yeah, the kids are going to want to go if there's no one else. You're not really aware of that. Right, well, we, yeah, we did actually have the building tested for mold um, to make sure there's, there's not a mold there. Yeah. Yeah. There's, no mold. There's, there's nothing like that. Um, John, what are you, any other questions? No. no. So, I mean, I just, mm -hmm. I didn't inspect it, but I mean, I just, as I said, I just got the report from Katrina and she mm -hmm. seemed to really downplay it, so. <clears throat> I was thinking that this space is an interesting idea because, because one thing is we don't really want to heat the town hall through the winter, it's quite mm -hmm. expensive. And this space is heated, but this space is also used for other committee meetings, other board meetings, etc. So the scheduling may be not quite what you're looking for. Well, Tuesdays we close at six, right? Mm -hmm. Which would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, well, Mondays. Mondays. Mondays are the day. Oh, right. Mondays we currently close. What time? Seven. We could change to six. We yeah, to. public, you know, everyone can come and join the meeting. Yes, and then, mm -hmm. right, and people can check out a book, too, while they're here. Uh, so I, I understand there's definitely some logistics. Mm -hmm. I also just mm -hmm. want to call out that all the public comment we heard tonight were people interested in being in the town hall. So mm -hmm. just putting that out there as something to recognize. People are excited about it. I know that there have been people that aren't that have come here, but there's a lot of excitement in the community over it. And as a temporary solution, that keeps it from, from being a big, huge, permanent change all at once. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to need, you said you had some costs. Did someone had some numbers. I heard you guys talking. You, had some, you brought some numbers with you as well. No. We didn't want to put a lot of work into it until we yeah. got an understanding of where you mm -hmm. all stood. Well, I would like work. to see um, more. I think it's I think it's a good idea whether it's moving here or moving over there. I think it's a good idea to move somewhere for the winter. 
I, uh, I agree. Yes. I, uh, I, I we can't. We, you know, we just can't keep on like we have. Yeah. I, I tend to be a little more blunt than the rest of the people <laughs> on the board. They're more diplomatic. I wrote the original paragraph about the moving, and my more graphic details were edited out. <laughs> but the porta potty situation last winter was not good. No, well, I think we've heard from this board that no, one, no one's, you know, saying, hey, we're not interested in this at all. We're saying we agree with you, you know, that we need to do something and we need to move forward now. We uh, appreciate that. And I think we just need to have a few more details and then look at both spaces. And, maybe, and I'd be happy to walk around with you or Corey or whoever and so that we could come back to the board and talk and say, all right, this is what we found. Um, and then make some recommendations uh, to the board. And whoever wants to join will be welcome to join. Um, and then we can, we're meeting again in two weeks. I think we're all here. I think I plan on being here. Um, and we can make a decision then. Okay. And between now and then, I don't know who wants to reach out to me. Um, I'm on vacation next week, so I'm going to have Sorry. to be <laughs> um, But let me just, I, I would like to get a little clear on what sort of information you need. Obviously, the square footage of space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, or maybe even um, a or couple of alternative feet. layouts, because mm -hmm. I think just a square footage number might not meet your needs. Mm -hmm. And we may need to be able to move stuff around to fit so, so, so just give us an idea of what you need. Okay. And, and maybe if you could check with um, Cheryl and just to see what we have on the books as far as um, plan, you know, whatever happens over here. I know we got town meeting coming over there. Mm -hmm. We've got, um, I don't know whether they still have the bazaar over there or whatever things that we have over there. So we say, all right, this is, you know, so we kind of say, all right, during this period, this is what we would do. Uh, this is the, the solution here. If someone wants to have that family thing, this is what we'd feel comfortable with books being out and, and such. You know, um, as, a, as, a, as a group, this is how we feel comfortable with the, the, um, or the tapestry that's there and such. How are we going to protect that? Some of those things are questions that should be answered. Mm -hmm. In terms of cost, um, I believe the town hall's already kept in the 60s at all times now. Do you have a recommendation for how we can go about estimating? I do. We can, we, can, we, can, we, can go back, we can go back and look at uh, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. We had a group in there that rented it for the winter from the high school that was, it was um, I don't know, a transitional housing type program or something. Okay. I don't know. Okay. And they met. I think every day during the week, and the place was pretty much on Saturday, I think most of the winter. Okay. Um, and and I, I don't think, I mean, it was more expensive than, than usual, but it wasn't a huge change, I don't think. But we can look into that, but we'll also, we can, what we can do is look at transferring budget from this building, just what we're doing here, and we also got a budget on this building in anyway, so um, there's, but those are the things that we can put together so everyone's clear of where where it's coming from. Okay. I, mean, I don't know if there would be any moving costs or construction of any the bookshelves thing, or anything like that. The only other thing I can think of um, would be wireless, right? Mm. But I, again, I would think we could just it's just shift wireless it in, the, in the, the building now. Oh, okay. When we like we have town meeting there, they. Hook it up. I, I, yeah, I think you just hook it up for a day, though, because when I do library programs, there is not. Like, right, but well, I guess my point is it, it could be hooked turned up on and fairly off. quickly. And then we wouldn't need it at the Right, so I think those are, just switch, those are the type of causes of just transferring. So that's not a big issue. It's one of those hard cost one type things of mm -hmm. building something, changing something, or such. And so. Oh, right. Another number that would help is a uh, typical maximum number of people. The average is eight to ten a day. I have to do that number. Um, I don't think we care how many per maximum. day we uh, occupancy is what I'm thinking of. How many people we're talking about adding in space? Mm -hmm. 
like maximum? Um, that one time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I doubt because the library fits so many. Concerns out. I think the spaces yeah. will be a bit more than what can currently. We, we would right. never even say town meeting. Right. Or come That's close right. to it. I wouldn't think of that. Mm -hmm. I don't think you need to worry about often mm -hmm. problems there. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. That, that would be the best yeah. thing. Uh, that would be a good problem to have. Right. Yeah, actually, that's true. If, it get, if, if you do it here and it gets too full, that's a good thing. We can deal with it then. Yeah. Right. So. All right. Um, so we will put you on the schedule for next meeting. Okay. okay. Someone's going to reach out to me. You and, and what is the date of that? We'll, let's do that sooner than later. We chat yes. sooner than later than, you know, schedules to get coordinated and such. <clears throat> and then I'll check with anyone else to see if they want to join us on the board. And you can check with whoever. And then a few of us can just walk around and uh, point out uh, things like that. Um, All right. Jason, you have something else? No, I'm just thinking about how often the listers are in this space. Yeah, I'm just wondering, you know, because having lots of little kids running around is a little distracting for, for that, but it's not frequent. So I'm trying to think how to work around. They can go work at the other building. <laughs> 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 they used to they enjoy the porta potty. Well, I, I don't mean that. Obviously, yeah, they need no. to be there for four or six hours, but an hour or two here and there. Yeah, and there's accommodations as well. And you said you did speak with Cheryl Ann? About what? About this case? Well, we thought we had sent the letter. Yeah. Oh, she was so we thought, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but apparently not. Or we all didn't get it. One of the two. It doesn't matter. We'll uh, move forward. <coughs> all right. So why don't we, um, unless there's any other questions, no, concerns, okay. we can move forward. Okay. We'll okay. Mm -hmm. We will get back to you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Nice night. You as well. Thank you for <laughs> So do we have any other uh, old business that anyone wants to address? There's I think the one else will be more visible. So you guys can propose it to her. We, we were looking for a town hall custodian, as someone to work in the town hall. So, um, you know, maybe we should talk about that as well, because um, minding that, taking over that role, um, which is not a bad role. It's just making sure the town hall is up. You know, if you guys are going to be there. So, is it more like opening and closing the building or maintenance? More like opening and closing the building. Yeah. Um, Sweeping. Sweeping a little bit Just sometimes. Sure it's clean. So. Uh, most people who rent and go in there, they clean up after themselves, but there's, you know, there's sweeping and there's little things to do and clean up. Um, we were actually hoping to pay a staff off of whoever you hired for a custodian for the town hall to work at the library. Yeah, we're not. Because the paperwork is a whole lot plus time. So maybe we can work together. <laughs> yeah, on that. have you found anyone that would be? No, I think we're looking at about $25 to $50 a month. Um, it's such a small job. I mean, we haven't gotten any, we haven't gotten much interest at all. All right, so, yeah, so Corey, one of the things we, we were talking about, because you were around there all the time or, or something, is would there be any interest in, uh, and I'd say custodian, because that just sounds like you're, you know, you're cleaning all the time, but it's more of a, a 
you know, caretaker. opening caring, a caretaker of the, the town hall, opening, closing it. Um, are you talking about like now as is, or if you were occupying? That well, space? kind of both. Uh -huh. <laughs> so just, the, I, we're just throwing it out there. You don't have to make a decision right now, but um, when you're on vacation, thinking about how can I earn a little extra money? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, if it does, um, we're looking for somewhere to fill that, that need. Mm -hmm. And we were talking at the last meeting, we said, look, you know, someone brought up your name just um, because you do spend a lot of time there uh, right. and things going on. And even if you're, you know, your husband wants to, uh, you guys want to share the job, you know. Um, Do you like that, Chris? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I got a quick call. Yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, the, you know, we, you know, obviously we, we, we're, we pay really good here, so, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but think about it anyways. Yeah, I would, really, I would think about it. I don't know that I would take on the, like, um, maintenance role, but I could certainly take on coordinating and opening and closing and helping people with the tables and all that. Yeah, I that would think about it. Yeah, no, that would be the type of stuff that we're talking about. I don't think any kind of maintenance. Mm -hmm. I know Katrina used to do some maintenance type of thing, and that was just she wanted more hours. So we said, all right, if you want to paint or you want to do those type yeah. of things, it's an opportunity. So. Okay. Would this include like cleaning the bathrooms and the kitchen, which are probably less favorable roles? Yeah, it does include encompass that as well. Yeah. Um, but most again, you know, I think you know that is what it is. You know. What it, um, Certainly not a great job when you have to do them, but most people are pretty respectful when they go there. And the, and the people, because the people who are signing contracts that are going there and having a, a reception or something like that, they can't leave it a disaster, you know, because otherwise they'll, you know, we'll, they'll have to pay extra. We'll bring someone in, a professional, to clean it if it's something like that. Yeah. The, the rule for third parties has been you use it, you clean it. Right. Now, what happens? You know, if another, if a town group goes in there and we can't find anybody to do that work, I don't know what happens. And anybody who rents it, it's a security deposit. So, I mean, if they leave it in this, right. then they don't right. get the security deposit. So, I mean, there is incentive for them to clean yes. it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, and, I mean, I've gone in there to do programs after other events, and I, I would agree that everyone is generally respectful. Mm -hmm. right. Or if you can, or if you think of someone and you guys are looking for someone to do a little bit of work up there, but they say, you know what, we need more hours. Yeah. You know. Because we're running in the same paperwork kind of issue, which makes a lot more sense when you're contracting with someone that clean. Be clean, absolutely. For sure, but it's, it's been hard to attract anyone that has the necessary paperwork to clean them. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Okay. Very good. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, is there any new business? Well, we got no. But of course, there's an indication. Yep, we can move back to that. I just want to get this out of the way. And I, I did want to address some old business, too. All right. You have some old business, John? We'll yeah. Uh, first, uh, the harvest of the forest land. Um, you know, I meant to ask Michelle when she was in here uh, if she had spoken with the other uh, members of the rec committee because. Um, she said that she was going to and, and recommend that we set up a committee uh, for that purpose um, because she, she said that there wasn't anything on their plan because we already have a plan, but as I said, that plan is outdated mm -hmm. and it, it talks about joint land when it's not joint land. So I mean, it definitely needs to be redone. So um, I guess I'll have to reach out to the, to the rec committee. Okay, and, and see what's, what's going on in that. Um, and then the HUUSD merger update. Um, Tom, we, we're going to talk with Caitlin Hollister at some point? Yeah, I um, try to give her a call actually in the morning. Okay. And just give her a heads up that we're sending a, a letter along. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. And uh, I think Ray signed it today. I did. Yeah. Okay, good. And then I asked Sasha to send that out tomorrow. Okay. I'm just going to give her a heads up that it's just a nice letter, but just a 
uh, really addressing what we talked about earlier in the summer. And now that they're back in session, we want to make sure that those um, questions are kind of on just the threshold right. out there. Okay. Refresh. Okay. Refresh, exactly. And then, because she had requested to meet. What was it? Some point. Yeah, I, and I spoke with her earlier this year, and that's when we had a very good conversation. Okay. Yeah. So. <clears throat> and I know, uh, I think she reached out to Jason at one point, too. And I don't know if you guys ever... Yeah, I didn't know if she reached out to everybody. I know that she reached out to both Tom and myself. Mm -hmm. I think I remember someone even. saying that. I think I remember you saying you had... Okay, and Hollister, the chair of that. No, okay. Oh, yes. That's right, that's right. Yeah. It was quite a while ago I returned the call. I right, that. right, right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's, that's um, going out there. Okay. Sidewalk mm -hmm. project, that was nice that Pat was in. Looks like we'll finally get that put out to bid this fall and I guess commence construction in the spring. Uh, nothing new with the finance committee. John, we took care of one time, one time. So I should be old business is going to be cut down. Mm -hmm. ah. Actually, I have some notes from the finance committee. Um, one of the things that came up at our last meeting <coughs> was uh, if Stefan keeps records on the fires and mm -hmm. um, and also uh, the lifetime of uniforms. Um, and the other thing for both, and, and so we're suggesting so we say, lifetime, the, lifetime uniforms. What was the other? Yeah, thing? in other words, uh, the life, yeah, the life, life expectancy for the right. uniforms, yeah. Yeah. so that we could plug that into a capital budget and figure out when we would have to replace mm -hmm. them because they're expensive items, um, and just you know and. They must keep records on fire calls and so on. So, and you want those sure records, or it, it, it would be it would be good. We'd like to have access to pretty much you know, anything we can that has to do with you know anything, any of the finances and budget. We uh, have to look actually. Uh, let me see. Look in the uh, fireman's report and the share. See if they put in how many. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fires they responded to and such. Yep, they have it. So, um, okay, good. Okay. And they went to, like, for instance, for carbon monoxide activations, five smoke alarm, ten vehicles, okay. one chimney, two. Yeah, so um, that would be that is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then uh, the other thing that came up with uh, for both Tom and Ray is uh, the maintenance schedule on the all the equipment. Okay. Do they have one? I think they don't have an <coughs> exact schedule. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that they keep track of the number of hours on the equipment okay. and have a target of how many hours they want before they change the oil or they just change the oil. Okay. But we should on the check in to see if they have like a normal like PM, like your guys at the shop, right. do they have mm -hmm. like a PM sheet where they say, all right, every day they walk through and they do a yeah, yeah, you have to have all of that stuff. So. And then on a monthly, there <coughs> you can pull some, you know, maybe something that you guys have at work, you know, go into the yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and say, look at what do you, how do you keep all this nice stuff nice? You yeah, know, that's it exactly. You know, mm -hmm. is it, you know, yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah, for that yeah. because, and that's, I'm sure there's something that consciously that Martin keeps or or not, but it should be. In case anyone's not there or new, we should have it so that anyone can walk into the job mm -hmm. and complete the next maintenance that's due on a truck or, or, right. or, or a heavy equipment piece. Um, and one of the things that we were interested in is, is it possible that some changes should be made to improve equipment life and thereby save us some cash flow? 
Right. And if we don't know what those practices are right. at this point, how can we improve them? And so I know that some towns hire somebody, you know, an independent contractor, um, to do just that. Right. <clears throat> so. And that's where I think we benefit that we have guys down there that can do that, mm -hmm. like Sean, um, that actually like doing that. I mean, I, mm -hmm. whenever I feel it's one nice thing, I think they're doing the maintenance, because we yes. never on a down day and I go there, that kid's up to his elbows and he's working on something or exactly. maintaining something. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I think they're doing it, but we need some, some records. They just um, need a document. The other thing, Sasha, have you guys, I know there was another request out there, but have you seen anything as far as, um, we were looking to get some kind of reporting system as far as the guys that are, you know, they're working on road number 17, really. And, uh, um, you know, we were trying to figure out how best to report that so that you guys can. I think it was through Dan Courier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there was any feedback yet. All right, if you can look on your side, and I will ask Martin okay. on his side. We were talking about that in the finance committee as well because anything that helps get money. Yeah. And also um, usage of equipment is, you know, if there's anything that can be used to track that, that's very helpful in predicting lifetime. Oh, and, and there's a lot of things that we can use that for, even for in kind services. I know we have some projects coming up that's where right. we can mm -hmm. use some of that. And mm -hmm. so if we have a way that's certifiable documentation or whatever, but that would be better. So I will try to, within the next couple of days, see you know, those guys down there, Ray, you the same, and yep. to both of us, we should be able to get the message to them. And we have addressed um, Oh, and the time. Uh, sorry. Um, one other aspect of that is it might be helpful to offer any help they need with um, you know, computer systems and paper. Oh, yeah, yeah. That. So yeah. It's not no, that's not as much of a burden. One of the things that I've talked about mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. some work. You know, let's all work together, work with Sasha, work with Cheryl, and work with those guys is something that everyone can work with. That's not a benefit, not a, you know, causing someone to put in another 10 hours of administrative time that they're not. Uh, I don't want to do it. Yeah, like, he's not filling out his paper. <laughs> right. So we need to we do get. We have a really good communication. Mm -hmm. Martin and I have been working really closely. Close. On That's stuff. awesome. And we spent a good 15, 20 minutes today going over timesheets and what they did these certain days and making sure that the grant things were coded correctly so that it was flagged for Cheryl Lynn. And oh, great. Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. so we'll continue that. The relationship is working. Mm -hmm. Good luck. So is that in a format that shows us what people are looking on every day? They have this um, worksheet mm -hmm. that they hand in with their timesheets. Like they'll put down, if they worked at the school, it'd be road zero zero. And okay. they, what equipment they used, how long they were there, mm -hmm. material, what tools. So we could end up looking at what gets done this season year. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would help Martin. Yeah. I would do anything with it pretty much. Thanks. Cool. All right, as I look at the old business, uh, the planning commission vacancy, that's taken care of, right? I, the I, planning commission vacancy, you guys filled that, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes we did. Okay, so uh, that can yeah, come yeah, off yeah, there as well. Yeah, but is the whole question about an alternate settled? On the, uh, that was the DRB. That was DRB, yeah. 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 Um, Lone Pine, that's, I just want to get more that we can just chuck mm -hmm. off. Yeah. Better. <laughs> All right, so we're, uh, we're out of business. John, any new business? I think we've been through new business. No one had anything. Reports and communications. Sasha, what do you have for us? Anything? I don't really have much. Um, I just wanted to point out that the guys have been doing an awesome job getting uh, over here ready for more fest. Soccer net was taken down today, and the pictures are all gone. Um, I just think that they've been doing a great job. And I wanted to let you guys know there are no delinquent taxes right now. Wow. What? <laughs> wow, that's pretty awesome. There are no delinquent taxes right now. 
Let's hope we can say that um, <laughs> <laughs> November uh, yeah. second. It's still wow. Yeah. Good. And that's um, so. How much have we taken in the summer? But, but, that's all right. <laughs> you know, maybe next time just let's know because usually it's. I could, actually, you know, I, can, I'll, I can just look at my report and see what we had out. It would be interesting to see if that's because we always plan on around fifty thousand. Rather, we don't put it in the budget, but I'm thinking in the back of my mind we we always get that. I'm wondering mm -hmm. if it's a little bit more. Than that. Well, do you know roughly how long it took to take the briefing? Couple days. It was really Martin was fast. How many people were on? I think it was just him. Wow. Okay. Chains okay. off. Cool. Yep. So on the on the communi communication. <clears throat> Uh, we all sat with Katrina as far as her pay. There was an issue there about what she deserved an extra month. And I, I think your explanation was good. Was that the end of it? Yeah, I, I didn't have <coughs> any reply. To um, you know, I didn't reach out any further, but I think yeah. I was, it was clear that she pretty clear. Couldn't reach out if there were any questions. And her, I think, obviously the email, she just wasn't clear on six mm -hmm. months or yes. well, I, I don't know, you know whatever. Yeah. Um, so I think that's fine. Okay. I haven't heard anything, and um, I'm sure we would have at this point. Okay. Just going back to new business there, you know, I, I did want to talk more about the library, how we're going to go forward before we get yeah. you know, as far as you know, I, I'd like to participate in trying to make this work. Uh, Mm -hmm. you know, I, I thought we could have a special meeting next Monday, but you know, Corey, I think, is not going to be here. Right, right. But, mm -hmm. You know, if we wanted to have a special meeting before things get too, you know, before we know on November first, we'll be here quickly, and I'm sure they need to do a lot of prep work. But uh, uh, you know, whatever, whatever you figure out there, you know, I'd like to. I think I'm available most nights except for Thursdays. All right. So if you want to set up some whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely I'll reach out to you. It'll it's hard to meet me during the day right now. I can't either. I'm on the road and I'm just you know, I'm far away usually. Um, so that we don't have to um, warn it. I would what I would ask if anyone else has any questions as before the next meeting or if they want to address as we're mm -hmm. looking at things that they could forward to to Sasha and Sasha could send them to um, me. Okay. Um, and I, what I want to do is I just want to walk around with them, take a look at the, the spaces, and kind of get some yeah. ideas. And then let's ask some questions there. So then when we get it, sit around this table again, we can mm -hmm. say, "Hey, we thought of this. We thought of that." Um, yeah. You know, we can just mm -hmm. look at it really and, and try to make a recommendation of what would work. I, I would like to find uh, whether it's here, whether it's over there, or, or somewhere else, somewhere where they can be at least on a temporary basis. Exactly. Because yes. yes. it is a crappy place over there to be in the winter. It is. I mean, it's not right. And, and the thing that uh, I have most concerns with me is the safety over there. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully, we, and I'm sure we can find some alternative, uh, at least yeah. for a short term. But. Happy to have you, Ray, and I'm uh, glad you want to join. Mm -hmm. um, at least my immediate reaction there and is I'm a little leery of upstairs in the town hall as temporary, simply because it will be very hard to change. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Well, I think if we make it clear from the, the start that we need it for the town hall meeting, I mean the town meeting, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know, I, I, mm -hmm. I really think that that we can make this work. Yeah, I mean, my, my big concern is the, the fact that, um, you know, the, the town hall is it's the town's hall, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and we're not having any vote, and we're just making the decision. And mm -hmm. I, I know it's temporary, um, but that, that's why, I mean, both Ray and I brought up the basement. and. Yeah. I mean, I still think that that's a good temporary space. And well, I think that's why we need to, that's why we want to walk and talk with some people, and that's why I said we need to work together on this. I think there's some solutions out there. Mm -hmm. But sitting around this table and just saying, hey, this, 
you know, let's get out there, let's let's try to talk and, and work, and then and then we can sit around and say, look, it, it's going to or not. But mm -hmm. certainly, nothing is going to be a, on a permanent basis and, right. until there's a town mm -hmm. decision on that. Um, yeah, I, I was bringing that up more in terms of human nature, which is once they have something, it is. Oh, it, certainly, it, I know. It, once you get your phone and anyway. take it away, yeah. That was all I was talking about, and certainly if there's a water problem there, we need to fix that. Thanks. Right, I think that's that's a great point, and um, you know maybe when we're talking to, to to Martin, we should talk to him about that. I think the only thing that can be done there, and you're the expert on this, Ray, is it, obviously if it sits low, water goes downhill, and you. But mm -hmm. if we put pavement in there and direct it away with, um, yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I mean, we've dug around that building so many times. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's and amazing. Keep yeah. on working on a fix. Yeah. Well, that's why I think the only thing is 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 on the top side of things is mm -hmm. is not letting the water get get over there because when uh, and I thought everyone saw the pictures that Katrina sent. She did send some pictures. Mm -hmm. Uh, the end of July, whenever that rainstorm was, and it was a short one of those bursts, but there's mm -hmm. so much water, and it all it, it goes and it, it goes in the, the the door. It basically goes in the door. It looks like okay. it's just high enough that it you know it's too much water. And even then, I was thinking, oh, we just need to channel it away. There's no rocket science yeah. with it, so it just needs to be channeled yeah. away with. A small asphalt berm or something that's taking the water and directing it into, you know, further further away to, down to the Johnny's yard. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> and I, you know, I mean, certainly, I I understand that you know their concern because I mean there could be another hmm. you know uh, hurricane, whatever, tropical storm, um, but. Um, but we haven't had any big issues there. Right. That's where you almost got to get them to to get in there and start using it and, and mm -hmm. say, all right, we're going to put some of your books up here, but we're going to put some of your books down here. There's going to be a compromise right. here, and this is how we're going to work this. And I think, and we may want to, when we're doing this, decide, all right, we, we need to do something better on the floor. If you want people to stay there and like it, it needs to be a little bit more comforting. Mm -hmm. And but frankly, the whole downstairs could actually be a I think a cozy it could be That's library could type be air area because it's I think even for those reading spaces sometimes you want more of a darker you know, cozy yeah the catches right there you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I mean I don't want to push them one way or another but I think <clears> they, yeah. I mean they're so you know, they're looking at things just so much on one side and I think other people the other, we need to try to compromise yeah. and get, let's let's look at both avenues here. And it may not be so bad if we try it. That's so why I just want to get in there with some people and say, all right, let's do something here, let's do something here. Yeah. Uh, and it may work. And then, mm -hmm. and then it might get some other buy-in from some other people that are really concerned about the town hall being bastardized, you know, yeah. with, um, you know, racks and, and other things like that. I understand historical perspectives and you want to keep things, I, I like that as well. So there's- I've there's heard a, a lot. <laughs> there's a, a I mean, but we are talking temporary and-, and Right. And I, 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 when I think of temporary, I think of something that's almost on wheels or something that's going to mm -hmm. be in and out of here. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's the whole human reaction to taking away the temporary thing that I worry about. Well, it's not, it's, it, it, but you're right. Take a look. Right, take a look. Right up front, you got to. I mean, that expectation is going to be right up front. Say, so, oh, this is the expectation on our part. Uh, on yours, this is the expectation that these need to meet. And you know, part of this expectation is, you know, April first, we'll be having books down down mm -hmm. the road or something. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what you find out. I think this space is very interesting. It's temporary. This wouldn't do for permanent. But, yeah, but for something this winter, I think that that's interesting. But you'll find out. Yeah, I think. Well, that's why I asked about if they had approached Sherlock because I 
I don't think, I don't think, I don't think she's going to go for that at all. Mm -hmm. We have different meetings in here, too, during yeah. the day. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's what I asked. Yeah. And I know that that's, that's kind of blocked, but I think... Yeah, maybe yeah. not. And we have these computers and things out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no it's, Logistically, yeah. I don't think this would work. Mm -hmm. I mean, even temporarily. No, only so unless you were having, like, everybody yeah. in here. People mm -hmm. were signing out their books on, ahead of time. They were coming in and just picking them up here or something. Which, yeah. You know, yeah. but that's not going to happen. So. Anyway. Um, so we'll move forward on that. You know, we'll listen. And then we'll be back here at our next meeting and have, mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure, a, um, a good discussion. <coughs> this is the intent. Any other communications? Should we have the next meeting at the town hall so we can talk about it right there? Or should we have a minute to think about it? Yeah, well, I don't think uh, that might be a good idea, but let's. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, though, right? Unless something comes up, that's a, that's a good idea. We'll try to do that. Um, there's no other communications that we have. We just have a few. Uh, Jason, if you want to take a look there. <laughs> Okay, if you want to start there. Sure. Um, I am uh, looking at a grant agreement. So this was great on Sherilyn's first um, big grant. Big grant? Yeah, that's awesome. 412000 Eight hundred dollars in thirty funds. Your project was selected from among, from among thirty one applications statewide. The, this is a state grant or federal grant? This is a federal grant. Um, nice. The town will be responsible for twenty percent of the total project cost. Um, so that's something we'll need to start thinking about. So that's what will be roughly 80000 mm -hmm. uh, if the cost comes in at what was estimated. And it can be in kind, too, so... Right, so the type of things, uh, the work that you are putting into this, make sure we're keeping track of even Sherilyn's hours. Because um, okay. those can be um, used mm -hmm. in kind as well. Um, does the time we spend on the selection committee count? I mean, that's for the other project, but does that count as well? Well, I would say for that project. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. sure. And I think as there is a there is a uh, formula for what boards get, <laughs> which can charge for it, and look at based on our expertise or lack thereof. Um, one of the things I was thinking, we, we still have money in the Deer Yard Fund, and that we, uh, I know we use some for this project here. Right. So we may want to consider using some for um, uh, this as well. Again, another, it's going to be, uh, that'll be awesome to have both sides of the road done here in the village. I know, it, it, it's just, in a simpler world, you could take that, you got your other project, just go right up through it for $100,000, you could get to the other side, and you'd be done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. in a simpler world. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. While you're here, guys, can you throw in another side? Basically, is what. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it yeah, before the road right comes in. Before the you know. Before the, the final paving comes in, just just go through and just put in. Replace what's there, you know. Uh, no, it's it's it a shame. Like, that it, that it seems it, like it, it gets so complicated mm -hmm. when it's you're just redoing what's there. I have a dumb right. question, just as background, because I wasn't around when the sidewalk project started. Do we know how people on that side feel about it? You know, what reactions do people have? Do we know? I think they've, uh, out of my experience, they've always wanted something. They wanted yeah. more. In fact, yeah. they, a few years ago, they had two or three of them came in and, you know, requested either, you know, can you pull this what's here out, mm -hmm. you know, and leave us something that's more, um, maybe a little tobogging or such, but, yeah, they're very much um, in, in favor of it. One of the things we'll need to talk about uh, in a town meeting or when this, uh, we have our, one of our first meetings with this, with the people on that side, 
is, is one of the, the real hang-ups on this project has been getting the temporary right away. Mm -hmm. Right. And so I think right up front, if we can address that with people and what the expectation is uh, and what it encompasses, um, that would go a long way. If we could have forms for people to sign, sign right, right then, there, that would be nice. Yeah. And have some of the people who have done all the research on the other side of the road say, just sign it. Um, yeah. Because really that's, that's, that's held us up months and months really unneedlessly. Yeah. For, and I understand people's concerns, they mm -hmm. should have concerns, mm -hmm. but a lot of those are met very quickly and then still not signed. So mm -hmm. um, that can make a huge uh, change in the timeline. Also on the topic of sidewalks, was there any further news about what happened at this point? No, I um, was told that it was a paving crew that was doing some work in, in Northfield. I had Sasha reach out to Northfield and it's pike, but they're not starting until mid-September. Yeah, mm -hmm. very strange. Um, and it was actually Wally that told me, you know, that he saw it was a, a paving equipment. He knows equipment, you mm -hmm. know, that was turning up there, and it was two weeks ago on a Monday. And uh, so I thought it would be easy enough. They have to be, you know, because mm -hmm. there's nowhere else to pave. You can't go through the the bridges there. Right. Uh, and they didn't go left and go right, so... Mm -hmm. um, and Northfield was doing work. Right. On that road. I thought that's what they were that's, doing. Yeah. They were, I think, doing a culvert. Yeah, it's a good culvert, yeah. 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 Or maybe we could maybe just check back whether the else was doing work there. Okay. Um, because, again, they are, and then they went that way, and they, and they really just told me it's the people doing work on the other side of the world. <laughs> Yeah, and that's going to come out at some point, but yeah, it's a mess that should be taken care of. And so we could hurt themselves there. Is there anything we need to do in the meanwhile? That's a good right thing. Uh, as far as take uh, it, pick asphalt? it up. Asphalt? Or pick it up and put down asphalt or something? You know what? Let me give that another one. Let me see what Martin said yeah. that we should do. Yeah, that's now. a question for Martin. <coughs> but yeah, it's, did anyone take pictures of it yet? Well, if you get a chance. I didn't. <laughs> uh, it's not like you couldn't notice that you, you hit something. <laughs> God. I mean, what's wrong with people not to be responsible for what they do? Kudos to Cheryl Lynn. Mm -hmm. Thank you, industry. So, I did get something here today from Ron. Take a look at it tonight. I'll bring it by uh, Sasha so that she can let you know if there's anything that needs to be uh, looked at. But uh, this would be in reference to the um, Montgomery Timber business. Mm -hmm. So stay on forth to see something there. All right, so if there's nothing else. Did we already do the minutes? We have not, right? So, is there any? Mm. I'll just quickly read into them right now. Mm. Okay. I don't the last minutes for a moment. I just forgot. I can have some here. Oh, okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Thanks. So you actually took it in the Michelle's letter? Yeah. If you pop 
called him in Euston, and accept it. She said, <laughs> <laughs> what? So, I might have been mistaken earlier when I said we filled the Planning Commission vacancy. Is that, <clears throat> I think I might have been confused uh, with the DRB. Well, maybe, or, you know, you're, you're right. It was a big DRB. That's yeah, it was Eric, and it was the DRB that we took care of. <clears throat> and Chuck Burke had on the rec I don't. I don't think we have filled. We have filled. I guess we, we haven't filled. Have filled okay, then we haven't. So the planning commission is still <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. And as far as um, okay, and so Craig was the ultimate. Okay. Thanks for clarifying that. No, uh, I recommend approval of the minutes of eight nineteen. No, oh, yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the main Second. Second. Any further discussion? Jason? Yes. Um, on the bottom of page one, I think what this was, um, tell me if you remember the same way, um, motion in regards to the tree, the GMP says it needs to be moved to manage the tunnel either prune or replace the tree. Um, it says, in accordance with GMP's original status to the in the meaning was if GMP does not in accordance with GMP's original statement to the hands. Everybody agree with that? So just the here, comma, if GMP does not, comma. Okay, so where exactly are you right on? So that's on the public comment. Right on the second page, John. Yeah, the, oh, the, bottom, the bottom of the first page is where it starts. Okay, okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Public TV.